were nice and cozy, nice and cozy up to each other, making sure we fit in the frame. I gotta bend down a little. <laughs> Sorry, Julia. <laughs> Hi there, it's David Shelley with and Julia Blinsky. And I'm gonna make sure I, I put your right spelling of your name at least this time. And I apologize for last time. I missed the K in your last name. So anyway. Um, so no, you rearranged the N and the S oh. and the K. Okay, so we've only found that after like three, four weeks. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so today this is our segment, which is Ask a New Slash Young Realtor. Uh, things you're learning on the job, which sometimes the general public doesn't know, and sometimes you teach me. Yeah. Uh, so a question that I actually have gotten asked often is, what is a preemptive slash bully offer? So essentially, it's funny, like, before you get into that, people don't know that that they're that they has two names. So people yes. say a bully offer. So bully offer is the same thing as a preemptive, preemptive offer. offer. Yeah. So what is that? So a preemptive offer is when essentially a potential buyer wants to make an offer on a property before the offer date. Yeah. Well, we're seeing a lot in the last, and now things are turning around a little bit. Somebody will list a property below market value, or we do it for marketing uh, to get a lot of people in. And what the public doesn't see is the brokerage remarks, which we see as realtors on our MLS system. And in the MLS system will say, offer should be presented on such and such a date. So, and in those brokerage remarks, sometimes it'll say, a seller is willing to review a preemptive offer. Yeah, or they have the right to review. Exactly, the right to review or accept yeah. a preemptive offer. So if I'm gonna do that, like, when is a good time to put in a bully offer? Um, right before the offer date. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, sorry, I asked that, I heard of that correctly. So in order for uh, a seller to accept a bully offer, maybe add something, so what, what would a seller, why would a seller accept a bully offer? Um, essentially, if it's you know hitting out of the ballpark in the, in terms of price, um, if it's something that they think that they won't see on offer date, then they'll just go ahead and take it. Right. Yeah. So like exactly. So if you're going to be putting in a bully offer as a buyer, it's got to be something like enough for the seller to say, "Holy crap! I don't want to wait. I might lose this offer." So it's usually more than market value or like pretty close if not more the second thing is it's usually pretty clean if the offer means it's firm uh and that's why so you present it to the to the seller and you're like don't wait till offer date our offer is so good you're not going to want to wait okay. yeah if it's close to market and you're already talking to other agents they might just say you know what we'll wait till offer date it's just thank you for your offer but we'll wait yeah but also here's the funny thing is that sometimes buyers will don't want to compete exactly so they'll put a bully offer in or, mm -hmm. or a preemptive but Sometimes if they do that, they end up competing, right? What yeah. do we do as, as realtors? If you get a bully offer, what do we do to the other agents? We notify them? Of course, always, <laughs> you always have to notify the other agents. So yeah, because you know, one offer is good even get one bully offer, imagine a two, three, four, five. So yeah, what we do as an agent is once we get an offer, a bully offer, doesn't matter if you get an offer or a bully offer, we email and call all the agents that either have shown the property or have booked an appointment to show the property that we have a bully coming in. And if you also want to bid, now's a perfect opportunity to, to also put in your offer because you might not get a chance. Yeah. yeah. So, and so those clients that were putting in a bully offer because they don't want to compete, <laughs> guess what? Most of the time they're going to be competing against other offers. So that's also why you want to make sure it's a strong offer. Yeah. Make sense? Good. Yeah. You guys understand? I think they do. Okay, good. <laughs> if you don't get it, uh, which, uh, we can repeat it again. <laughs> Just DM go. us directly and we'll help hopefully explain a little bit better. All right. Have a great day, guys.